Hi, I'm Alan Green. Next on Backpacker Dad, we're going to talk about something I've got that's it's like a GPS. Well, it is a GPS, but it's kind of not a GPS, but I'll explain it all next on Backpacker Dad. Hi, I'm Alan Green. Welcome to Backpacker Dad. And today I'm going to talk to you about something I picked up called the InReach Explorer. Now, it's considered a GPS, but it's not really, it does use satellites and all, but the system it works on is the Irid Iridium Satellite System. And it's mainly, the Iridium System, which was developed by Motorola, was mainly used for voice and data uh, communications. So in a true sense of GPS, it's not the same system that you use your Garmin's and stuff on. And, and ironically, Garmin bought this company, Delorum, for the specific reason of this product alone. Because what this product does, it's very cool, is it allows you to text message. You can text up to like 160 characters just like you would on your phone. But the cool thing is, is you can do it anywhere on earth. They say it's 100% uh, coverage on the entire planet because there are 66 satellites overhead covering and you should be able to get anywhere. But the cool thing about this, is, and the, one of the reasons I got it is, is like I said, you can set it up to where you can uh, text your wife, loved ones, anybody. Even there's a, uh, an SOS feature on here where if you're in trouble, you can actually get help. But I use it mainly to keep in touch because my wife, she likes the idea because a lot of times I won't have contact with her. This, I can have contact with her anywhere. And I, I've used it a little bit. I mean, I've uh, taken it out on a couple of hikes in the on the Lone Star hiking trail and uh, in other places in the hill country and, uh, and it works great. Uh, the drawbacks, well, uh, it's, it's a GPS and it has maps on it and you can download maps online and, and put them here. But the thing I don't like about this is, is it's a little inaccurate as far as like the real accurate GPS stuff and I wouldn't rely on this as my GPS. Uh, I mean, it's a good backup to a GPS, but uh, I mainly just like it to send messages. And if you do an SOS, they can kind of pinpoint where you are and get you. But the cool thing is, is the SOS warning, because if you're out, say, in the middle of nowhere and you break a leg or something and you can't get out and you're stuck, then you can contact somebody through the SOS. And the great thing is, is they can text you on this. And if you have medical questions or you, you, uh, you can give them information that can help them when they come to rescue you. And, and, and I'll say with warning, and I've heard that uh, some people use it if they sprain their ankle and they don't feel like they're going to walk out, so they push the SOS. Keep in mind, when you push the SOS on these things, you're enacting and enabling a system of rescuers and things, and you're putting other people at risk to come get you if you're in this situation. So I would say use it for what it's really meant to be, save our soul, because you may die. But some people have misused this before, I've heard, and that's, that's dumb, that's stupid. That's what gives us all a bad, bad name. And um, the other thing I like about it is that uh, you can use, uh, use it for social media or things like that. You can, it, it'll ping your position and you can actually set it up with your Facebook or Twitter and, uh, and it, you can send your location where you're at. In fact, I will be probably doing that on the AT if you go to our Facebook page for Backpacker Dad. I'm going to try to set that up to where we will be checking in. Now there's the other con, and then those are pros, the other con is, is it costs, it's not a free service. You have to 
get on a plan. You have to pay a monthly or what I did is I, um, and I'll tell you, it's like $11.95 a month if you get the yearly plan, which is like the minimal one. You get 10, uh, you get 10 free um, messages a month and then you, you know, that kind of thing. But, and you can pay more. You, you add more and they'll just charge you. But you can also, I do the, uh, the uh, $15.95, $14.95 one where you pay a little bit more, but I can turn it off. In other words, it's a pay by month. Like if I'm, you know, after this hike we do in, in uh, May, I probably will turn it off again till maybe September because I, uh, I have some uh, hikes and stuff and things I wanna do in September. And also, uh, and I'll be explaining more, I'm getting, a, getting a, 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 my bike packing set up going. And so next, winter I will be doing some bike packing and definitely will be having this on. And um, but you can also get insurance. Like if you're in the Sierras and you get rescued, they may charge you because that's what has happened in the past. They charge you to get you down out of there and some places, not everywhere. But the insurance will cover that cost. So I definitely got the actually I got the there's another insurance that will uh, it will actually pay to fly you out of the situation you're in after you're rescued and bring you back home to the medical facility of your choice. Which, and if you don't do international stuff, it's probably not that big of a deal. For me, I work all over the world and I've worked, you know, I've been in China and Africa and Europe and South America and, Places that if I, and, and I'll take this with me on jobs. When I go to, uh, to do a job, I'll take this with me. I may not ever turn it on, or I may turn it on and just send a text saying, hey, I got here. But, but in places that you do not have cell service, this will work. This does not need cell service. Now, there's an app that you can get on here that will communicate with this, which I use. I basically, I will clip this on my my shoulder, and if I am go I'm going to text on it, I will use this because it's much easier to do like a text message. You, you marry it up through Bluetooth, and you text and get your message out, and boom, it's easy. Now, the, the downside of that, the con, is the battery life. It's going to, you know, because using Bluetooth is going to take battery out of this and this. You know, it's going to use up more battery. And the battery on this, I believe, is 100 hours or something like that. But, but you can set it up to where it pings every, you know, you can, if you, if you set, I think it's set up out of the box where every 10 minutes, I think it pings. But you can set it up where you can ping like once an hour or once every 30 minutes. It'll ping and come back, you know, to, and it'll make a note of where you're at. And that helps save the battery. And when you get into camp at night, I turn it off. Because unless I need it, you know, I'll turn it off and that saves battery. So you're not eating up battery. And, uh, and so far, the, the, most of the hikes I've done with it is two, two to three day ordeals. And there hadn't been any kind of, this hike on the AT will be the longest time I'll use this. And I'll let you know how it is. And I will say, you can get this for free but there is a catch. I got it for free because I have an American Express I use for my business and I have membership reward points. And membership reward points for American Express works on Amazon. So if you order this from Amazon, I got it for zero. Well, I had to buy stuff with my credit card, so technically I spent money to get money. To, but anyway, it's a rewards thing, and I would check into it and see if your card has a rewards deal. That, but it's a good way to do it, and I recommend it. And like I say, I wouldn't use it for exclusively for GPS. Now that also has weather. You can get a weather report. You can go on, and the weather though, you have to. Uh, you use up one of your emails, I mean your text messages. So if you have, I have 10 text messages a month, and if I get a weather report, it burns one. 
And so, and, but you can buy more. If you go over the 10, it's going to ask you and you're going to, and it's going to charge your card. So, but I would recommend, highly recommend it. Now, I don't have a backup for this. If I, if this doesn't work in my SOS, there are things like little beacon and stuff, which I'll check into as I get to where, if I'm going on to uh, more outer excursions, because you know, there's, my bucket list is pretty long on places I want to go now that everybody's gone and my kids are gone and now I can afford to do some of these things. I will be going, you know, I would like to hit up Iceland, uh, Peru, um, of course, the West Coast of the United States, you know, the J JMT is one of the next big hikes I think I'm going to try to do in uh, next year. But I digress. Try it out, get it. I would so highly recommend it, especially if your wife, it makes your wife and family sleep a lot better at night. And it gives you a kitchen pass, guys. You can buy it because you can say, hey, honey, I need it so that you can keep up with me. Anyway, till next time, comment. And do you guys use this? And, and who uses the, this one? And the, the new one, the Garmin, is a much more ergonomical, and it, it's got uh, more features and stuff. This is the older one, but it still works. I, I, like I say, I would highly recommend it. Do you guys use a, a Spot or this one or the new Garmin? Let me know what you, uh, if you like them what your pluses and minuses are. And uh, let's talk again, and I will see you soon on Backpacker Dad. Backpacker Dad.